Okay, so nothing OS 3.0 closed beta is out. I see other bigger YouTubers and news outlets making content on it, so hopefully I don't get in trouble for it. I'll quickly review the new changes so far so y'all can see them with some good B-roll. Let me know what y'all think about them. Let's get into it. This is a closed beta, so I'm not gonna talk about any bugs or performance issues, just gonna show the great new tweaks that's coming. So Nothing OS 3.0 is officially running on Android 15. The first major change is with the quick setting tiles. Now we can customize the size of every single tile. You can choose what size you wanna have, a big square, a half square, or just a single icon. This is my favorite change so far. Great move by Nothing. Also, the background of the notification shade is now white if you're in light mode. In the previous 2.6 OS and Pixel OS, this shade is always darker even if you're in light mode. Now if you change to dark mode, the notification shade will change to dark. Now on the build that I have, the background is still a dark gray. It's not AMOLED black. I saw in TechBee's video, he had a pure black notification panel, but I don't have that here. The camera is not picking it up all the way, but this is dark gray, not black. So I hope that they plan to change this to AMOLED black in the public release because why not have pure black backgrounds if we have an AMOLED screens. We didn't get much changes on the lock screen just yet, but the clock font did change. So now we're going away from that dot matrix text to a regular font. And also hopefully they'll allow us to put this clock in the middle instead of the left. That dot matrix font has been removed from a lot of places throughout the OS which I don't mind because it does keep things a little bit more cohesive. Also, the lock screen keypad has now changed to the stock pixel keypad, which I also love too, because now you get these great animations on the key press. We have that same dot matrix animation on the fingerprint unlock. This is very reminiscent of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean back in the day. I like this, it's pretty cool. We now have a new layout for the settings menu. Now each setting is put in specific groups rather than just being laid out. We have a new option to see your device's battery health and changing cycles, also other valuable information about the health of your phone. We have a new font other than Roboto, so this is something different. I put this font on throughout this whole video just so you guys can see and get a gist and the font of the clock in the notifications panel has changed away from the dot matrix. We have a new circular dot matrix boot animation. It looks pretty cool to me. Let me know how y'all feel about it. There's a new feature that lets you archive apps. If you go to the app info page, you'll see a new option to archive and this will allow you to offset apps so they don't take up space but not fully erase saved data you have from that app. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure to go watch my long-term review of the Nothing Phone 2A. Thumbs if you liked the video and sub for more Nothing Phone content. Peace. Thank you.